after what seems like a really long time, I'm very proud to be able to announce that one of our community projects is now up and running. We finally have a Durangal Community Street Library, which is wonderful. It's a project that was started some time ago and we were very graciously sponsored by the Chichura Rotary Club. We have done a little bit different to what we originally planned. COVID put a bit of a dent in a few ideas. However, we've upcycled or recycled an old filing cabinet from school and made it into our street library. If you come past the front of the school, you'll see it. And I'd like to take you a little bit through it and what a street library actually is. So street libraries are not an Australian thing, although they have taken off very much in Australia. When I originally did a search, we found that there weren't many in our local area. Currently, in our local area, there is one street library in Tatura, which is privately run. There are two in Shepparton, and I don't know anything about those two. There's one in Talamba, which I believe is with the food swap or the share swap. And there's two supposedly in Murchison, but if you look them up, it's the same one that's been listed twice, so there's only one. And now Darangol has one. Although the street library is housed at the school, it's for the Darangol community, which is exactly why it's actually outside our school fence. The library's idea is to take a book, give a book or share a book. Here at the school we've already put some books into the library, although they're all children's books. So if anyone's got some other books, especially adult ones, cooking books, recipe books, anything like that that you might have, we'd love to see them. The plan is that all the books that come through from the Darangal Street Library will have a stamp on the front of them that states that this is where you got it from. If you've borrowed one, of course you can always put it back, but the books that you take out of the Street Library are essentially yours to keep. You can do with them as you wish. We do ask that you help us by keeping the library neat and tidy and letting us at the school know of any problems. To also assist the library, we've put in some bookmarks. We're gonna put in some school leaflets We've also put in our face masks that we've been donating to the community. They've come out of our letterbox and we've put them in the street library, just a bit easier. Stay tuned in the next few weeks, hopefully weeks and not months. Um, another part of one of our community projects will also be out on the street library. You'll notice it and I'll certainly let you know about it.